if that's being streamed somewhere, but if it is, then that's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. So here we go. We have Cloud and me Brawler. This is kind of interesting because we, for, oh, Sergio with an S, like Luis with Louis Money. I'm pretty sure they are. He's from Marco. Um Cloud is one of those characters that because of Spargo has now become like a little bit more of like an interesting rise in usage. Yeah. Not only that, but the character is still pretty great. He's his nerfs he's, his nerfs are more of a balance in my opinion. But he honestly still has some of the great toolkit. Honestly, with a toolkit like Clouds, how bad could you be, honestly, if you I think about it? I honestly think Cloud I love the way they balanced him. I feel like he's one of the most balanced characters in the game now. Yeah. Nightshade, he, he touches the stage and then immediately Sergio just does not come oh, the Oh, That was a very ill advised down <laughs> there. I feel like he wanted to sweet spot the ledge, but unfortunately he just missed the mark. Yeah, that happens to the best of us. Nice job shielding that cross slash. There are a bit of mind games with Cloud's cross slash always as to how many hits he's going to try and go for. And that's something that Nightshade is definitely going to have to be mindful of as the set continues, like uh, right there. Yeah, and good stuff from Sergio to actually get the cross of Amelia with the cross slash. Just knew he was going to have to go around the shield. Had enough pressure, kind of had Nightshade in the uh oh moment. Oh, I like it. Empty hop to only only to figure out where Nightshade's going to go after the initial jump. Yep. Nightshade. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. I'm actually a little surprised he had time to shield that. Not going to lie. But no, nevertheless, he got away from that interaction with his life. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Yeah. Nightshade, I feel like the way he's playing right now, he's just kind of going in, not really caring too much about what Sergio's going for. Just, <laughs> just like that. Throwing, I mean, out, throwing out whatever options he feels like would be the most beneficial for him at that moment. It's just that Sergio just seems ready for it a lot of the time. Yeah, oh, unfortunately that full full forward smash on the shield not going to be anything going anywhere. That's, I think, one of the strongest smash attacks in the entire game, by the way. That yeah, Me Brawler forward smash. Yeah, that Me Brawler, it's pretty powerful. That dash attack immediately just gets rid of Me Brawler. Um, for Sergio, he's doing a pretty good job. Honestly, he just, that's one of one of the things that Me Brawler kind of struggles against is the fact that he kind of gets walled out by Cloud. Yep. And even then, Cloud has just great frame data and solid hitboxes all around for Me Brawler to have to worry about. And that's kind of like one thing that Sergio's doing is that the minute that Nightshade's on the ground, he doesn't let him stay comfortable for too long because immediately once you stop a character's ground game and you have a really good air-to-air -air like you do with Cloud, like a good empty hop, good, good, good uh, tomahawk grab, you kind of just immediately start to pick apart your opponent and their game plan to stay on the ground and try to hit win, immediately just gets them off of the, the stage. Now we have Cloud here with limit only 73% to his name. But that limit is gone now. I don't know how much that's going to matter because I feel like at the percent he's at, he'll have oh. more than enough time to charge his gauge again unless... Okay, no. Good direction to air dodge to actually use it on the stage. Didn't go for up B because, of course, you can't catch Cloud on the recovery because he doesn't auto set the ledge. Uh, he does auto set the ledge, but, like, there's that frame before he actually grabs the ledge that you can actually two-frame him in. Yeah, I don't know how consistently me Brawler is able to do that. Mm -hmm. Same. I, this is the character, like, both characters, honestly, like, I don't see too much Cloud, and I honestly don't see too much me Brawler. So this is kind of interesting to see how these both interact, but it's yeah. on paper, it's pretty much being proven to a point, like, I have a wall of a hitbox to give you a hard time. Oh, okay, good direction. Yeah, I dodge. mean, honestly, oh, That's wow. It. What a intelligent upbeat there from Sergio. I don't think Nightshade was ready for that one at He was all. not. He was not. I think one thing Nightshade was accounting for is a possible cross-up, a tomahawk grab, or an empty hop to fake him out. And he did not see... He probably tried to react him, and he saw for an, an empty hop. And then immediately Sergio just busted out the Clem Hazard. Which is good. I mean, at this point, like, when you kind of have your opponent that far in the defensive... And their one option that they would deem right at that opportunity goes wrong. It kind of like, you kind of just destroy them a little bit. Yep. We're going to see switch here to Piranha Plant from Nightshade. This is a very interesting character, dude. I can't say I've ever met anybody who plays these two specific characters. I, w I honestly, neither have I, but Nightshade kind of plays like a also like oh, unorthodox wow. characters in Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm super down to see some Piranha Plant gameplay. That's not a character you see every day. Yeah, honestly, it's a character that people said that they were all for Plant Gang, and then immediately when they that found the character, that train died that, immediately. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying, dude. At least, at least other train, like the Joker train, was really great. It's honestly still going, but yep. the Piranha Plant, that that being just failure to launch the minute the character came out. Regardless, though, it looks like Nightshade is doing just a little bit better here. 
Sergio's still able to just make use of that giant buster sort of his. Oh, he missed the grab. Unfortunately, oh. he's not. I think that might have been DI there, though. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Because Pranapon is pretty heavy and also really slow, so I don't think Pranapon would have died that early from when it crossed at that point. Pranapon's deceptively heavy. Yeah. I think it's that pot that he's sitting in. He's just weighing him down. Um, so we're going to see the cloud of poison gas not quite connecting onto Sergio there. That's oh, trigger a whiff. Valuable. I like it. I think that's going to be, honestly, a really valuable ledge trapping tool along with the, I think it's called the Patui. Yeah, Patui. Oh, I think I just call, ca called for a match, so I'm actually going to have to hop off. Oh, yeah, no problem. Um, yeah. But merely that's one thing that Nightshade kind of, oh, I like the fact that he went inside the pot, used that opportunity to get armor because you do have it. Oh, no, stuck on the platform. He's still able to survive, use the uppy to make sure go extra low. Sergio with a down tilt, clips him, and he looks to read the landing, but unfortunately he missed the mark. At this point for Nightshade, if you're kind of just this high percent on your second stock and haven't taken another one, he should be looking to see how Sergio is honestly able to just chase him down, and the fact that Nightshade continuously have a corner, it's really tough to get out, but trying to take center stage honestly should be his objective at this point. Good empty hop to kind of force out either the roll out of the, sh the ledge, or honestly to drop the shield and out of fear from getting grabbed. Nice. Okay, so far Nightshade looking to bring it back. He is able to get the spike wall, but unfortunately does not kill Sergio. There is a little bit of poison gas, and he's able to try to go around and get the cross up, but Sergio gets that hitbox in the last second. Stopping the opportunity, and the final hit of cross slash will actually take it with a limit indeed. Great shield. You gotta have, understand that that's not even, that's so negative on shield, going for that Not really good opportunity, but I do, I respect it, Nightshade. Try to get a whiff punish on that point. And I feel like that's what he's kind of looking for, but it's really hard to whip on the shakal sometimes. If you're approaching with a hitbox that is back air, it's still a great move. So you kind of have to respect it. And he tried to line on him with downer, but Nightshade gets the better of the, down of the up tilt. Two stocks to one. I mean, Sergio doesn't even have to really bat too much of an eye to be worried. Good forward air. Doesn't get the spike hitbox, but it will take Nightshade up back to the ledge here. Looking to get possible aerial, but he missed the opportunity. I would have loved to have seen Sergio go for a downer, but I also respect it, seeing as how, like, Nightshade was also setting up for a whip punish, and I feel like that's what Nightshade has been really uh, attuned himself to, is set up for a lot of whip punishes, because in the general overall game, Cloud wins, and then he takes the W with a 20 and a handshake.